Hey everybody, this is Prince. It's 20th of July 2020. This is Friends. This video is only for educational and informational purposes only and it is not to be considered as any kind of trading or financial advice. I'm not a certified financial advisor. So when it comes to financial risk, please talk with someone who you can trust, who is accredited and certified for your financial decisions. So let's look at National Refinery Limited. This is a Pakistani stock. All right, there was a huge drop. All right, during between tw 2016 to 2018, the drop was continuous from approximately 870 rupees per share. And wow, that's a huge discount. That's a huge discount. So let's do some, let's check out where's the support. We've got a support around this area. This is the support. Okay, now if you see here, it has made a kind of a double bottom. We can see around below 100 rupees a share, the buyer started kicking in and there was a continuous movement for one, two, three, four, five, for five months. Then again, there was a drop for one, two, only two months or three, you could say. And again, the buyers are trying to take control. Now, when it comes to technical analysis, we know when there's a strong support and this strong support could be coming from this area. That's how the double bottoms look like. You have a support area, okay? then you have a price it comes back the sellers are in control buyers are not interested but suddenly from the support area the buyers start taking interest they try to push the prices up but the markets or short sellers jump in again when they test the support buyers feel the prices are so cheap they should be lifted towards the upside so what happens we have a minor area of resistance here okay and then we have the buyers coming in. They say, no, we have to lift this bad boy towards the upside. So then we would have an uptrend at the break, break of this swing level. So we do have a minor area of resistance around this area. You can check it on the chart. You know, it would be around 180. If we see a bullish candle close above this resistance and independent candle that means it shouldn't be touching this area of s resistance at all it should close above it let's say it's kind of what I mean is here like this if you see an independent bullish candle closing you could say okay the trend could start reversing towards the upside now the next area of resistance where a good profit taking could be at this level all right so that's it for now. All the best. Wish you a great trading week and have a nice day. Bye-bye.